Greetings, Game Girls and Game Boys. I am Contemplate, and this is something awesome. Today, we're going to be getting a sneak peek at the upcoming Elder Scrolls Blades, the yesteryears. I, I mean, we're not actually looking at the Blades at all, but we are looking at Elder Scrolls Mobile, which is what I titled this video. <laughs> Got you good suckers. <laughs> we're not going to be doing that at all. We're going to be playing the Elder Scrolls Shadow Key. You can hear that audio. It's so crisp and original and clearly the best you've ever heard. Don't even question it. Stop. Anyway, let's go ahead and play War Comes to Hammerfell, Danger and Ambition Consuming the Three Kingdoms. But some dangers arrive not upon sudden studded boot, but move in stealth among the shadows. For a war of mages, for a war of magics rolls in the shadows, mixing with stuff, but unknown to kings and high mages, the humans, the ha hams, oh, flames of war, I, it's kind of hard to read on this teeny tiny screen, so this is the Elder Scrolls Shadow Key. This is a super old school game. I forget when it came out. Hang on, let me look up when it came out. Uh, I'm going to actually start a... I'm going to load my previous game. Well, let's do a new game. Just... Okay. I guess I have to create a character. Assassin, Barbarian, Battle Mage, Knigget, Knight Blade, Rogue, Spell Sword, Sorcerer, Thief. Dude, so many options, and I swear... What was it? Thief, Rogue... An assassin are all practically the same thing. But we're going to be an assassin. Assassins are deadly, quiet slayers. Their lethal strike can add considerable extra damage to a successful blow as an assassin grows in experience. Argonian, Breton, Dark Elf, High Elf, Khajiit, Nord, Redguard, Wood Elf. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do what we all knew I was going to do. And Dark Elf. Boom. Tall, dark-skinned with glowing red eyes, dark elves aren't common outside of their native province of Morrowind. Their shadowed path advantage increases their stealth and gives a small benefit to attacking. Except, man or woman, let's be a woman, why not? Boop. Let's name her Nun. Seriously, we're naming her Nun. Done. Start game. Okay. Well, that's loading. All right, we are in game. So this may be hard to see. If it is, I apologize. But to my knowledge, there's no way to emulate this system, the Nokia Engage. And there's also no better way to record the screen. But what I love about this is that it's all like actual third person or uh, first person perspective. Oh, alarm! Your village is under attack. Take the dagger at the... And the healing potion from the chest. If you can use spells, there's a learning scroll set near the chest. Press the five key to continue. See, five key over here. I probably don't need to shift it, do I? Five key is used to select for menus along with seven key to perform what? Seven? Which one? Seven? Okay. All right. Before combat, you need to equip yourself. Okay. I know how to do this. To interact with a character. Press three. All right. Dagger, the dagger along with blaze spell, if you can use it, are controlled by the five key. Cool. Cycle with the zero key. Good to know. Your healing potion will be added to your left action queue and can be used with the seven key. Okay. Lots of information for your brain. Okay. So, look at this. This is a full-on 3D environment. I mean, I guess calling it full-on 3D is a little bit of a stretch. Okay. Let pick that up. How do I pick it up? Uh, uh. You can sidestep. How cool is that? That's how you jump. Okay, that's how you look up and down, so... Oh, uh, crap. I forgot. There we go. Okay, it's the three key. All right, there we go. I'm learning. Where's the chest, he said? There was a chest by the door? Was I standing on it? So, yeah, it's a little bit slow-paced. Examine. There we go. 
Healing Potion, Iron Dagger. Booyah! Look at those battle weapon graphics. Oh, they're so good. Uh, huh. Hang on, hang on, listen. <laughs> that music is ripped straight from Marwin, I know it. Uh, I would have gotten better audio quality for this. I mean, not that the audio, audio quality would have been much better. But I would have plugged in headphones, but it requires a smaller headphone jack. And uh, I would, didn't want to... Oh my gosh, no load screen. That surprised me. Hey, what's going on? To perform combat, press the 5 key. Jump, look, you sidestep. Side, okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably should have really read those. Where are the rats? There are rats. I know there are rats in my town. Hello? Or no, there are goblins, I believe. Man, it takes a second to get used to these controls. Oh, what? First go to the temple. The temple is on that hill by the wall just south of your home. Find your way there. Beware the path is not clear. Some of the bandit rats. Bandits. Rats. Blocked. <gasps> the way. Be right for that. Okay. Uh, any tactical advice? Rats are low to the ground. Press the 8 key to look down, which lowers your attack as well. Aim for the head and keep in sight. Okay, nice. If you are straddling a rat, it can be very difficult to hit. Okay, cool. Good to know. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, turn faster. Oh, there's a rat. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, oh my god. They are bigger and scarier. Suck it, rat. Oh, jeez, there's two of them now. <laughs> Cut you up good. Get off me. Oh, now I'm getting beep a boo boo. Ugh, there we go. Rat murderer extraordinaire. Okay, so this game came out August 1st of 2003. I believe it was actually one of the last games uh, put out on the Nokia N Gage. Uh, uh, and I just think it's so insane that Bethesda had a mobile game way back when. Like, back when, like, okay, this phone was designed for gaming. Like, this is like, I mean, look at it. Look at the controls. Clearly designed for gaming. And it's, to me, it's just one of the coolest freaking things ever. To the point where I don't have just this one. This was the second iteration of the Nokia N-Gage. This is like the Nokia N-Gage Z or something like that. What's it? Uh... Huh, I don't have the box right here, but it's so awesome. They did have the original Nokia N-Gage, which looked like this. So, sorry, let me get, get a little bit of a view here. Yeah, like they improved the design. They made it more sleek. These ones you had to take out the battery, but I'll go into all of that and more in a later video specifically about the Nokia N-Gage. So uh, let's, let's play for a second longer. You can enter a character manager by pressing the pound sign. Hashtag awesome. While in the character manager, you can add or remove items to your left and right action cues. You can also view your stats. Ooh. Okay, I, there should be a guy up here. I want to fight this guy. That's probably where I'll stop. Oh no. Ah, stabilicious. Uh, get out of here, bandit. You can't take my home. This is my home. I own you you too oh that's a person no sorry gravel tro troth gar you okay bud the game went silent i think it's, it's those bandits infested my shop with rats and you want me to kill the rats then swarm outside of the town then i will open my shop for you i'm on it Ah, oh, such golden dialogue. Such good dialogue for days. Okay, so my health is a little low, but I think we'll be okay. Hello? Rats? Rats? Is this the right shop? No, this doesn't look like a shop. Mm, no, okay. Okay, hang on. Where's this shop? Because I know, I feel like I remember there being a building over here. Ugh! Like, it is, it's, it's really tricky to figure out how to control because there's a bit of a... Oh, he dropped a bag. Hang on. See that bag? The bandit dropped it. Yoink. Seven gold pieces. Ooh, I'm a rich man. <laughs> Open door, slam door in face. 
You made it! For making it this far, you get a reward. You receive 125 experience points. Interesting, so experience is done in like chapters. I forgot about that. So, uh, Trothgard, let's see, uh, next talk to, Ac the, next talk to Acolyte Menlin. She needs your help. You might also want to talk to Trothgard before you leave. The hill, if you aren't already, haven't already, have had done the, the thing. Hello, Menlin, Men Menlin. The bandits sacked our storehouse. Can you help? I have time. Sure. We need our herbs. They packed them on those damn rats. Where did they go? They left the village along the stream. Bring me those herbs. I'm on it. So yeah, it's, it is, it's, it's taken them so long. Okay, that's, that's where I'm gonna end that gameplay. So that game came out in 2003. And ever since I learned about it, like I believe there were uh, Elder Scrolls cause it's called Elder Scrolls uh, Travels. Elder Scrolls, oh here, I'll put it in front of this camera. The Elder Scrolls Travels. So they also had two others I believe on another mobile device and you can download them and play them on your computer. I tried, I haven't quite figured out how they work. I'm not tech savvy, if you haven't noticed by the lack of me being awesome at anything. But it's really cool that this was on such an old device and yet it took them how many years? Um, hang on, it's gonna take me a day or two to do math. It's taken them 15 years to do another mobile game. Or, or sorry, another first person mobile type experience in the Elder Scrolls universe. And that just blows my mind because obviously they did Fallout Shelter, which is totally like just, it's a, it's a time waster tap and click game. It's fun, I like it. I played it for about six months and then just like my place got so big it was out of control and I decided to stop. But it has taken them 15 years approximately to put out another game on mobile. And that makes me sad. However, it makes me glad because this game, Elder Scrolls Blades, looks like it's gonna be pretty awesome. Like, I mean, it's, it's interesting that it's a little bit linear by the looks of it and you can't interact with everything, but I, I just, I'm excited for it. It looks really cool. I, I think it's gonna be a little bit more limited. So I think it's gonna be a little bit more basic than I would like, but they also said that it was huge, which is really, ex like I'm excited to see why it's so big. It also harkens back to procedurally generated dungeons, not on all of them, some of them are handcrafted as they said, but they're also procedurally generated, which basically means random. Uh, so that should be really cool to see too. Not to mention, you can play against other human human beings, which should be awesome. I really look forward to that. Like, I'm overall very excited for this game. I've already pre-registered for it. You know that I'm a big mobile fan. Like, if you look behind me, 90, I wanna say about 95% of what's behind me is mobile. All of this over here is PSP, Nokia N-Gage, uh, Game Gear? or Lynx, I can't remember which this is. You've got, uh, what, what is it called? Neo Geo Pocket Color, two of them. Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, my G, uh, GC, GB, 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 GCW Zero, right here. Like 90% of what's behind me is mobile. Like it's a PSP Go. It's in the name, Go. The new Nintendo, 2DS, large man, fat boy. I, I love mobile gaming. So, I mean, these are game, these are, these are Sega Game Gears. Nintendo Game Gears. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, I love mobile gaming. So, you know, as soon as this game comes out, as soon as they start launching that beta, unless there's some kind of non-disclosure agreement, oh, you know I'm going to be making videos on that. I'm extremely excited to play it. So, if you're excited for it, let me know what you think of it in the description or sorry I guess if you're not excited for it also let me know what you think and what you want to know what you want to see but I so, 
Oh, I forgot I did that. The uh, no, the the Nokia N gauge here. Oh, I saw. I thought maybe it had the name of this specific model on it. This Nokia, the Nokia N gauge. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well, but uh, it says Contemplate Tech. <laughs> yeah, that's my screensaver. That's my lock screen. <laughs> but sorry. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe. Give the video a big old thumbs up. Please tell a friend, a family, and make sure to join me next time because who knows what I'll be doing. It could be influenced by you. Again, comments, comment section. I'm counting on you. You. Larry, you gotta do it. Maybe I should have used a more common name. Joseph. Joseph. If your name's Joseph, you know I'm talking to you. Don't even, don't even fake. Like, you... comment, comment section. I'll see you guys later. Game over. The Elder Scrolls have called to me, and I must answer. Oh, hey.